Hope everybody's having a great night, a great afternoon, great evening, great morning, dusk, dawn, weekday, weekend, or whenever you might watch this video. We're gonna do a free break, 91 score, uh, 91 studio, I should say. Whoops. Um, biggest card in here is the Bagwell rookie, or the biggest rookie at least, but there's lots of Hall of Famers and stars and they're kind of fun cards so I will edit in the video of the comments being chosen randomly here Cool. Um, before we get to that, I'm going to open some mail that I've been neglecting a bit. It's been sitting here for a little while and I want to make sure I get to it. So the first one, which I've pre-opened a little bit, is from the very generous and very cool guy, Dallas Foster. If you haven't subscribed to Dallas' channel, you should because it's good. And he's a very smart man. He wrote fra Fragile Sable Inside, which is always important to let your local post office know that there is a Sabo inside or possibly it could be a Sabo inside. They'll understand. I'm pretty sure it's universally, you know, known uh, mailing services that you, you must be. Oof, this is fun. Uh, Dallas is a Chicago guy. Not from Chicago, but he is a Chicago. Oh man, these look, this looks really nice. I love Bo Jackson. It's got 88 Donruss Bo Jackson. Love that card. As I've said before, Bo Jackson doesn't take a bad picture. Him, Eddie Murray, and Ricky Henderson are three guys. I don't think they're a bad card. Maybe Eddie Murray later when he was a little bit on the thicker side. We've got a Devers. 2019 Devers. We've got the Diamond Kings Ben and Tendi, which I don't have. Very cool. Got a Bowman Mookie. Hopefully does not leave our fair city. Xander Bogarts 2019. And we got a I don't I don't think I have this one. No, I don't. Um, I only I don't so the minis, like most people, I'm not a fan of minis, but the only ones I do keep are the Red Sox ones, so that is cool. Are there, I'm hoping that there are, there probably are some binders, binder sleeves that are for minis only. Got a Clemens Flair, great set, 94 Flair. We got a 90 Leaf Sabo, which is one of the best sets of the period. Arguably the best set, super clean and uh, very aesthetic. Got a Mike Greenwell Gator. I do PC Greenwell a bit. Like I don't go actively looking for his cards, but I do um, keep them together. We have a Wes Chamberlain 94 Flair. Whatever happened to you, Wes? Louis Aponte, 83 Flair. We have a Phil. We got a Phil. Phil. There we go. We got a Felix Furman in there. Look at that face. We're gonna just melt your heart. Then we have a Sammy Stewart. I was just talking with some, I think uh, back in the game collecting about Sammy Stewart. Um, he told me about him. Uh, I made a joke about, I think his 78 record breaker card. And he said that he had a rough, the end of his life was rough. And I looked it up and boy, was it. I guess when he retired, you know, the loss of baseball. Um, he got addicted to cocaine, I believe. And then he spent the next however many years living under a bridge and 
Uh, he had kidnapping charges brought against him. And he'd been out of prison. I think he was arrested 26 times over, I don't know how many, period, how many years, but um, then he uh, passed away a couple years ago. So not a good life. And we got a Mike Boddicker. Love that name. And we have, this looks really cool. And I actually saw this set recently and I didn't get it because the guy wanted too much for it. Or I saw uh, this card, which I assumed was part of a set. This, I think it's this 89 star or is it 88 star? 91, okay, 91 star. This is really cool. Okay, so it is a full Clemens set. That's right, because there's a Bo Jackson set like this I was looking at too. This is great. I love Clemens, and I kind of hate him too, but he was so, so friggin' good. Personal data. Well, looked like he, maybe this is when he started to uh, dabble in the Mexican creatine a little bit. Awesome set, man. Thank you so much. We have six of Expos. Gabe White. So we got some Expos. Larry Walker. So my thing with the Expos, I think I mentioned in another video, is that I just think it's a cool, I like the design. I, I think they're, it's an interesting look. And... Um, it's very nostalgic for me, even though I wasn't a fan of the Expos as a kid. So, Delano Shield, the Moises Alou rookie, for Oil Can Boyd, Dan Schatzender, Schatzender, Brad Millis, or Mills, sorry, Dan Norman. I like the way these cards feel. Al Oliver, unbelievable player. Mike Fitzgerald, don't get close to him. Jeff Reardon, every dad's favorite. Luis Rivera. Got a, is that a uh, Vance Law or is that Ron Kittle? And Tim Raines. Galarraga. Galarraga. John Dobson. Neil Heaton. Bob Sebra. Tim Burke. Happy Tim Burke. Jim Wolford. Badass name. Tim Wallach. King of the Tops Archives 2019. Got another Larry Walker. Brian Holman. And Nelson Santo, Santo Venia. I think Larry Walker's a good card to invest in. I don't think they're gonna get crazy, you know, go too far in price, but I do think he will make it into the hall at some point. And we have multiple. Oh my! F Are you for real, man? Are you kidding me? So we have some Devers first Bowman first. Two Devers first and kind of uh, screwing my words up. Are you kidding me? So good. 2015 Devers. Whew, hands are shaking a little bit. Oh, this is a great, I don't have this. I don't have any, either of these, those cards, but is this, I don't know the series, 2018 Classics, that was rookie. That's a nice card, and it looks like it would grade out pretty good too. What the hell? What, is this? Is this a 50? What year is this? Well, team set. Is it 54? Or 53? No. Fifty one? I don't I'm not sure. It's unbelievably cool though. And man, man, you really blew me away. Wow. Unbelievable. <sighs> Dallas, I can't thank you enough for this. Um for real. I don't even, I'm not even saying anything because I have no words for how awesome that is. 
I'm just going to put it here for now. I will talk to you after. So, um, the other package here is from the Kane boys who are, um, the whole Kane family is great. Uh, if you watched the last Jabs stream, you, uh, uh, Fan Mail Friday, you saw a letter from their father, CJ. Um, I, they've been so supportive of my, of me and Just the fun, awesome group of people, and uh, I love chatting with them. The Wrath of Cain is the funniest, and honest to God, seems so to be one of the, the smartest and tel most intelligent 11 year olds I've ever come across. Who is that? Sabretooth, perfect. Because I had the beast last time, now I get the Sabretooth. So we have two envelopes and a shirt. Now, I was told I need to screen these cards prior to, to uh, putting them on camera because they have a sense of humor like mine that is not always appropriate. Enjoy the cards, found some more Red Sox and Expos. Your friend, the Cane Boy, CJ Rath and Austin. Thank you guys. Um, Got some stuff for you coming up. Also, you won tonight in this break. Hi, Dave. I am. Well, that can doesn't that is. Hi, Dave. I am not Kevin Tapani or Tapani or Jaws three. Uh, I got the Kevin. That was my hit or one of them out of the archives. So uh, perfect. Got some Expos and sock stickers. Got Dennis Martinez, Galarraga, got a Chuck Knobloch, 91, got a Mookie Betts, this is the card day thing, yep, sick card, love the lightning. Tim Raines, I love Tim Raines. Ellis Burke, Silver Slugger. I never had a lot of these as a kid, it's these Silver Slugger cards, and I had a lot of 91 Upper Deck. Galarraga, Ozzy Canseco, poor Ozzy. Must suck to, must have, I don't know, he probably got paid. Dave Schmidt, Tim Wallach, Scott Ruskin, Tom Foley, Otis Nixon, Perpetually Ancient Otis, Joe Hesketh, Gary Carter, love some Gary Carter. Floyd Humans, Verherm Winningham, Jim Rice, Expos Leaders, Dawson, and Mitch Webster. So that was a nice pack of cards. It's Great place, all famous stars. So I need to screen these, I think. No, okay, I think I'm good. Got Delano De Shields. Who is oh Mackenzie Dern? If you don't know what Mackenzie Dern is, other than being exceptionally fine, she's unbelievably good at jujitsu. That's sick. I love that. I almost bought Goodwin Champions today, but I, I couldn't bring myself to do it. Bobby Ramos. Richie Ramone. Got Aaron Pico or Pico? Pico, I'm not sure who he is. It's a wrestler. Yeah, he's a wrestler. I'm not sure who that is. It's very cool. Mark Coleman. One of the baddest men ever. Um, he watched early UFCs, he was just such a monster. He would do this thing called a can opener, which I don't think is, I don't know the legality of it in some uh, divisions uh, or some, some organizations, but essentially when you're in someone's guard, you grab the back of their neck and you pull them up and it just is the most painful, violent thing. He, he his career ended when they got, uh, at least with the UFC, his career kind of dived out when he, when they banned headbutts. The, so, Kyle Troop, is this, um, I have no idea who this man is. Richie Ramon, we got Max Weinberg, fantastic drummer, Conan O'Brien, uh, oh! So, There we go. 
I guess I should have screened them a little bit better, but those will go into my, my special PC. Well, let's flip those over here. Neil Heaton, Tim Wallach, am I gonna get any more surprises? Pascal Perez, rest in peace. Every time you say his name, Cannibal Corpse, uh, they get a royalty on Hammer Smash Face. Dave Martinez, Tracy Jones, Dennis Martinez, Andres Galarraga, Andres Galarraga, Brian Smith, Jeff Parrott, Perrette, Brian Holman, John Dobson, Joe Hesketh, Marty Barrett, Rex Hudler, Eric Davis. So I am PCing Eric Davis lately, so that's cool to have. I do not have that. Brock Holt, Xander Bogart, nice David Ortiz. That's, I don't have that. Very cool. Pedroia, what is this? Is this from the old... This is the 92 Tops Gold thing. Eric Davis, Ivan Calderon, also rest in peace. Your shot, Marquise Grissom, Jeff McNeely, Steve Crawford, Wallace Johnson, Charlie O'Brien, Mike Bodega. I'm playing a ga dangerous game with the Kane family here. When you go through these cards fast, you never know what's gonna pop up. Lee Smith, Vance Law, Andres Galarraga, and Expo's leader. Okay, getting a little nervous at the end there. And quick story on these. My dad used to drink a lot and he would like or use an eraser to go light on these and then hold them up to the sun or something. I can't, something like that. Or if it was, got, you could use light to get see through them and you could match. So I have piles of gold cards here. And unfortunately, only a couple stars, but yeah, my dad cheated. And then, wait, is it? Yeah. Something, is that a tag or is there something? There is a tag here, okay. So affliction. I don't tend to wear affliction shirts, um, the, the, but check that out. Randy Couture signed. There's other, there was who, I, there's three signatures on here. I can't remember the other ones are, but Randy Couture signed this one. Um, I'm not good at reading SIGs, so I'm not sure. Um, I will talk to CJ after and find out, but that is sick. That is actually, I would not mind at some point when things get changed around here setting up so I have uh, jerseys on the wall and things like that so Kane family thank you guys so much you guys are so awesome um, I'll put the link to their channel in the description and they're fun fun people great sense of humor and I think they're a little over 100 subscribers and they should have more so 91 studio and speaking of the Kane family Kane is Wrath of Kane was the of the randomizer so, man there are a lot of cards in here so I'm gonna try to go through these at a faster pace than usual assuming that they're not bricked um, yeah a lot of cards here nice packs okay now we're good they're not bricked so yeesh Gary Sheffield, Tim Nearing. Used to love Tim Nearing. Now he's uh, high up at the um, in the Yankees organization, like really high up. Andy Van Slyke. Crit wow, right off the bat, we're killing it. And then a Phil Plantier. No glasses, Sabo. We're just going to put him here for now in front of the top to Pani. Ken Herbuck. Uh, No jokes. Kevin Moss with the ultimate Chad Chin. So any, you know, Hall of Famers or superstars that will um, uh, penny sleeve after. And I don't know about the inserts in this. Mike Fitzgerald, Dill Murphy, Mookie Wilson, Frank Viola, Jeff Treadway, Tim Holland, Gary Scott, and Sammy Sosa. That hair when Sammy Sosa was Sammy Sosa. You guys ever seen the movie Freaks, 1933, the uh, Todd Browning movie? Kind of looks like he's kind of got that zippy head.
So the Vagrant, Bill Paxton movie is a really oddball, uh, I think it's early 90s horror movie. I think it's early 90s. Um, Gary Gaetti, Kelly. Um, yeah, see, I say, like later Eddie Murray, the pictures weren't great. Will Clark, I'm Calderon. Uh, <clears throat> number 20. Uh, this vagrant, I can't remember the, I haven't seen it for a while, but essentially this vagrant just ruins his home life and then he ends up in like a trailer park and the vagrant falls in there and it just, um, there was a whole bunch of movies in the 90s where like people's lives were, de were destroyed by like oddball characters like uh, Down Out Beverly Hills, Madhouse, um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Tony Fernandez, great player. So, there it is, Steve Lake card. Probably the best card in the set because the man has a friggin' parrot on his shoulder. And, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Joe Girardi, Steve Sachs, Frank Thomas is a good one. Todd Van Poppel, rookie. Jose Lean, very large. So here's how you're going to get the Mickey Mantle if you want it. Uh, Sunday night I'm going to do a live, a live giveaway. My original plan was to uh, put a, have a bunch of YouTube channels in the description and you'd have to sub, like, a video. And uh, I thought that was, there we go, let's put him here for now to keep us, keep us uh, in line. Parish, Ozzy Smith, this hide in his face. So, I got a story about Willie McGee I'll tell one day about how he came to our planet. Uh, it's pretty interesting, and it does have to do with the Roswell crash. Um, so, my original plan was to have all these, like I said, these videos, everyone have to go subscribe to everybody else's channel, but here's what you're going to have to do. In Wednesday's video, which is going to be a video about Fairfield, the new Fairfield boxes. All I want you to do is comment, just regular comment how if you were going to, and then um, I want you to post or put in the comment your comment two to three, two or three videos. Uh, sorry, two to three, two or three channels can Cam and Eddie, uh, that you think other people should check out and subscribe to. Okay, because there's a good chance that a lot of us are all, all subscribed to the same channels. But just in case, and if you think there's any smaller channels that you really like, it doesn't even have to be baseball card related. Um, there's two channels that you think we should check out, that everybody should check out, and uh, hopefully uh, some of us will go do that and, and help grow some other channels. The other way I just thought People are going to subscribe to other people's channels, and then I might they may, might unsubscribe after, and you know maybe a few people would stay, and that would be good. But this way is easier too, and this is also, uh, you know, we all like to talk about and and, and show the things that we like. So um, be cool to be introduced to some new stuff. Rito Santiago, Tim Rock Rains, Mark McGuire, Doug Jones. Black and Decker, Put Howard Johnson and Kelly Man want that world. So, uh, my last name rhymes with Tecker, um, and it also rhymes with Black and Decker. So, kids in school, uh, and not for me so much. They, they didn't call for my older sister. I, they used to call her Black and Decker Pecker Wrecker. Eric Schnell, Lewis, Edgar Martinez, pretty good. Uh, that's a big bubble. I wonder, I would love to have been a fly in the wall when they were doing these photos. I wonder what high school they did these at. Paul Maud or Ricky Jordan. Dave Henderson, 
good player. Ken Griffey Jr., that's a nice card. It's also centered pretty pretty good. He does not look happy to be there, but I wouldn't either. Last pack for Raph. Ricky Jordan. Sean Dunstan. Doug Drabeck. Tom Candiotti. Candiotti. Vince Coleman. Sid Bream, Darren Dalton, George Bell, Tim Leary, and Charlie Huff. Huff. So, Wrath, these are your cards. Sorry, I was taken aback by the song that's on here. I love this theme. Okay. Now we have up next Mantis Shrimp. You're getting the top right, buddy. Pretty big stacks, a lot of cards here. I'm really happy they're moving quick too. I'm trying to reduce the length of my videos just a little bit because I know they get long. Bill Sampin, Sir Floyd Mookie, Mark Grace, So I did find these new Fairfield boxes today called Prime Packs, I believe. And I'm really interested. They're the same price, but they um, they have three packs of cards. Gary Sheffield, I mean, we've seen this pack. Nice Frank Thomas again. Ugh. I wonder how many how many birds could you kill with how many balls there? Three balls? I bet Winfield could take out eight eight seagulls with three balls. Packs are also very easy to open, which is good. Charlie Hayes, Lance Dick, Lance Dickinson, Lance Dixon. Jeez, Kane family's messed my brain up. Dennis Eckersley, Jeff Conan. Uh, so yeah, I'm interested to see what's in it. It's like one. That is what it is. One hobby pack, two packs, and one bonus card. So I see what looks like 90 Don Ross. I don't know what these other packs in there are. The card in the front looks like a common, but Julio Conine, another Leo, jeez. Ellis, Rickaker, Jimmy Reese, Joe, Tony Fernandez. I don't look in there down five below to find some uh, Fear Feel, I think they're like hot, the hot corner boxes or something. Dave Rigetti. But I'd seen that, um, excuse me, Baltimore box breakers have got some, I believe. And my five below, the, the, the one that's closest to us did not, did not have any SLH. She said, uh, Steve Lake, I don't know why I put him on the front, just so you can just look at him a little longer. So they haven't got him in a long time. Nice Kurt Schilling, Tino Martinez. So I went to all the doll stores looking for 2018 Series 2. No luck. Moises Alou. Can't be out Dwight, I can't. Y11, Steve Farr, Ray Langford. Huff, nice Ricky Henderson. These corners are a little bit dinged up here. It stinks because otherwise this is a really nice card. And the centering's are off a little bottom top, but Ray Langford, Cecil, George Brett, Dwight Evans. So Dwight Evans, I was talking with some people, I was talking about back in the game collecting about him and uh, some other people on Discord chat about Dwight Evans and uh, just how un you just never hear his name come up. Nobody, I don't know anybody that collects Dwight Evans. Um, the hell, some Reynolds flakes, Trammel, like, um, Bobby Witts, sounds gonna be a killer, probably. Tony Pena, Brian Harbour, Wyatt Jr. Jose Offerman, if you don't know, his daughter is Jojo Offerman from the WWE, also Bray Wyatt's. Baby's mama, but Dwight Evans, yeah, he was a great player. 
long career, 20 year career, uh, pretty solid 20 years. Uh, John O'Rourke, another great player, no one talking. These are dinged in the right corner. Greg Jeffries, oof. oof, double oof. Greg Jeffries looks like uh, he's about to smash some mailboxes in 1958 and then go see his best girl and get a milkshake. David Justice, another, there you go, got a Sabo, so. No, no bagel yet, but two Sabos, pretty good. Uh, it's Sean Davis, Randolph, Roger Clemens looking pissed, Bobby Bow, Oof, Rob Dibble, what are you doing, man? Does he think, I hope he's being, I hope he's being funny. And you got the bagel, and the bagel is pretty good, no dings, some of these in this pack have the dings. John Burkett, uh, do I have top loaders in here? I got some penny, I'll penny sleeve it and then I'll top load it after. I don't know where they are. So, congrats, Mantis Shrimp, for the Bagwell. Rookie. One more pack. Hopefully we get some more, too. So, the, I was, I, the question really was, or the topic of discussion was, um, oops, I don't know if I show that. Uh, Don Mattingly over... Dwight Evans, and I would put, I would put Mattingly, I mean, uh, Evans in over Mattingly. Here you go, buddy. Congrats on getting the Bagwell. I will top load that, uh, and I will sleeve up some of these cards before they go out to you. Next up, we have Another very cool guy who's been very supportive on this channel, as well as many others, Johnny Waldeck. Cincinnati man. He actually has won, he's got, the, I think it's the first free break he won. He also, or is it another thing? And then he won, the, he was in the last free break, I'm sorry, he wasn't in, two free breaks ago he was in, and then he got chosen by the comment picker thingy last week, but I he was disqualified because he won the week before and then he won tonight, so good luck. He's, he's got good luck. And good luck to you, John Smoltz, Shane Mack, John, speaking of devil, speaking of the real devil, uh, devil devilish Dave Winfield. Um, but Manningly, you know, he had four great, four or five great years and then four or five bad years or okay years. Where Dwight Evans had like 20 good years. And, um, it's here. I don't know. I, I feel like for a lot of people, I, Mattingly's almost become a meme. A bit. Uh, and I'm not saying we shouldn't be in all of them. I think there are people out there that really deserve to be in there over him. Jim Abbott. Another great underrated player. Tony Gwynn. Didn't even wreck it. looked kind of not Tony Gwynnish there. John Franco looks like a. Uh, he'd be in like um, NYPD Blues or a cop on one of those shows. Steve Avery. Dan Gladden. I think I drank a beer with him once. In the woods. Ricky Jordan, Sean Dunstan. Henderson. Ken Griffey Jr. Same center as the last one. Rob Deere. Three way out, Rob Deere. Any of you guys out there collect bats? Sign bats? I do not, but I've been thinking about starting on the bats, but I feel like it's gonna get too expensive and you gotta have real estate. I mean, I have real estate for it, free space, but I don't know. I just have him this picture in my head of bats and jerseys lit up by LEDs and cool stuff on the wall. And 
Mm -hmm. Red Saber again. What do you think he slicks his hair back with? I bet it's Bleach. Cal Ripken Jr. Ricky Moradini. Ryan Samber. Good pack. Kind of sinks there are no inserts in here at all. I don't I don't believe. Except for these puzzle cards, which I know some people dig. I never was into, into them. They just kind of always ended up in my trash. Yeah, bats, jerseys. Jerseys, they, you know, they take up a bit more space, but uh, I don't know if I've missed, if I've had any uh, bad stuff on camera. I apologize, Dave Anderson. Kelly Gruber, Tom Glavin. That card centered extremely well. Maybe a little bit off on that side, but I doubt anybody's out there getting these, these graded. Scott Sanderson, Figpin, Bip. Not a good man, bad man, bad man. Another cow. Just finished up that show, The Boys, on Amazon Prime. I don't know if anybody's seen that, it was really good. I'm pretty sick of the superhero stuff, I tend to avoid it. Uh, but. Off flakes, no good for you. Uh, very cool show, very good. Um, he looks like somebody who's that chef with all the tattoos, he's always got his shirt off. I don't think he's on Vice, but he's on some maybe he's on Vice. Oh, well, how wrong? How wrong? Um, yeah, the show uh, boys, it's kind of if the Justice League were real people and effed up. Uh, Dykstra, like the Superman version of the show, Home. And Eric Hansen walked into the bar, the bartender said, why the long face? Uh, Travis Fryman, looking happy. Yeah, so like the, the, the main guy, Homelander, in it is a uh, Superman. He's pretty much indestructible, with no weakness. Kevin Belcher, don't mess with him. And he's also a piece of garbage. I don't remember him. Nick Greenwell had a pretty good get career in Japan, I believe, too. Craig Biggio. It's a nice card. It's centered very well, too. So, Johnny, hope you enjoyed your stack. Uh, they'll be out to you shortly. Got a million packages I gotta send out. So I'll send out a ton today. And, uh, oftentimes I let people, so when I'm sending them stuff, I let them, uh, we'll say, uh, thicken up a bit, I guess. So I, I wanna, I kind of let things pile up for the time as I'm out curating and things like that. And we have Mike, Sports Card Collector 959, another cool guy. Always been supportive on this channel as well as many others, just like everybody here. Um, he's in a fishing contest with Fishing with Phil, formerly known as Joe Camel, also known as Johnny Pink Sock. It's pretty fun to watch them do their thing and trash talk each other in a nice way. Ozzy Smith, Daryl Kyle, Fred McGriff, multi-talented Fred McGriff can balance with that on his finger. Nolan McGee, Nolan Ryan, it's the first Nolan Ryan. It's also a super sharp Nolan Ryan too. I, I think these are nice cards. I, some of them are not, and then I get, then I see something like this and then I'm like, ugh, trash it. You know, Greg, you know, just, just be normal, dude. Just look at the camera, smile. Don't put a friggin' parrot on your shoulder, or maybe you should, I don't know. Just, just be chill. Just be like Kurt. Kinda be like him, not too much. He looks like Elliot Rogers. Remember Elliot Rogers? 
bad, bad kid. No more. Bad guy. I heard we were driving out around today, and I heard Whitney Houston said I want to dance with somebody. That's reminded me of Elliot Rogers. Oh, okay, we're good. Trying to get these things off. Todd Brown, Rick Honeycutt, Chris James. Look what we got. Dress for you, Mike. And a Carlton Fist right after. And a Conseco. And a Sandy Alma. And then you got a Scar and Ground one. But whatever. You got the Bagwell rookie, bud. I hope you needed it. I hope you want it. Uh, where did those sleeves go? Yeah, there. And again, these will be top loaded. Bagwell looks a little like my brother. My brother looks a little bit like, I can't remember the guy that was in uh, the movie Amadeus. Kind of fell off the map. Love that movie. One of my favorite movies. Got a good guy in the back, I see. Voices, Tom Candiotti. George Bell. Ricky Henderson, I think that's the first Henderson we've seen. Yeah, the boys was good. Check it out. If you like very adult superhero thing, I don't know. Not this the first pack that's giving me problems. And I uh, started Dark Crystal, which I'm going to probably watch a bit tonight. Got Martinez, Frank Tanana, Kirk Gibson. Heavy it hurts my hand to hold that card a bit. Morris, no one ever talks about Jack Morris. You know he beat up a lot of kids in high school. Randy Johnson, I think it's the first Johnson. Here they made studio cards until uh, 97. One gone. So what else? See Pedrosian. Gonna go see it one day. Uh, interested to. I've not read any reviews, but uh, I've kind of. Picked up on some uh, headlines, and one of the things that I'm seeing a lot about the new It is that it is not a great horror movie, but it's a good con. The first one had some funny moments. Uh, we just had this pack, I believe. So, yeah, we did. Rick Swindell. But I did enjoy the first It. I thought it was. Pretty good adaptation. I really hope they get into the cosmic stuff in this one, like the origins of Pennywise. Smoltz, Shane Matt, Kirk McCasco. Right. That's me, and that was me. And this is what I looked like at any given moment from like fifth grade to graduation in school on my desk. Oh, we got something for Jonathan H. on the back. I can't. Scott Erickson, kind of evil eyes. 511, Steve Farr, Barry Bonds, first Bonds. Eric Davis, looking like he's about to hurt you. Bernard Gilkey on the back. Big hit. So, last pack. Ray Lankford, Ken Kamity, Ken Griffey Sr., Sneaky Cecil, George Brett, Dwight Evans, Tim McIn McIntosh, oh, McIntosh, come on, spell it, McIntosh, Wade Boggs, and finally Bill Landrum. So, Mike, pretty good stack, and you got the Bagwell rookie, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that. That's the free break for this week.
Uh, so tomorrow night I'm going to live stream. I'm planning on live streaming a opening like 2018 holiday boxes and then whatever I'm not using to PC giveaway I'll, I'll auction off there. Um, and then like I said Wednesday I'll have the, the Fairfield video. These guys right here are just going to do these two boxes and all you got to do is do your regular comments. You got to like, like the video, comment, and tell me two to three, could be more than three, as long as there's at least two YouTube channels that you think people should be subscribed to and checking out and watching. Um, you can put in the description why, uh, or in the comment why you think you should. And then Sunday, I will just gonna do, I there's two ways to do it. I can do the random comment picker for the, the prize for the mantle, or I could do the Wheel of Death. The Wheel of Death is more interesting and it's more exciting. You just kind of put everybody's name on the wheel and as it spins you, you it's a process of elimination versus just picking uh, somebody. So, so yeah, so Wednesday night. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, have a great night or a great day.